Hello and welcome to the version 8 update of A World of Ice and Fire. This updates for Mountain Blade Warband and we're going to be taking a look at some of the features introduced in this update including two new competitions that have been sponsored by Fallen Lord. But more on that later on in the video. So here you can see one of the new scenes and this is the Bearded Priest Temple and this is part of one of the quest chains that was commissioned by Fallen Lord. You can also recruit some of the new special troops here too. And these are some of the locations of some of the other new special troops that can be recruited. So these troops are similar to the other troops uh, that can be recruited elsewhere, where they're normally either a tier 7, which is our highest level tier in the game, or they're some kind of specialist or specialised troops. You'll also notice we've added a deposit feature for the Iron Bank. This was another feature that was commissioned by Fallen Lord and I know it's something a lot of people's wanted. And here you can see we've actually added a menu for the farmer for work in the village. Looking through the changelog you'll notice there's been a lot of new troops added. There's also been a lot of tier 7 troops added. Uh, and, and a lot more stronger characters so this was never a design feature of the modification so to count for that I've had to redo all the stats for every single troop in the game so here you can see uh, the base stats I've used for different tiers and for different types of troops so you even see stuff like the uh, white walker attributes uh, the different lords and the kings attributes for the giants and general attributes for each tier so each faction is made up of levels between tier 1 and tier 7. Okay so here we are back at the changelog so I'll post a link to this in the description below so you can actually check this out for yourself if you want to. Um, anything labelled with a double star means it was taken from Fallen Law's documentation and this commissioned by him. So as you can see there's been quite a lot of work that's been commissioned and paid for by Fallen Lord. So without people like Fallen Lord and without you guys that donate through Patreon and directly to me through PayPal, then these updates probably would not happen. We've also had commission from Witch Kang, uh, who's commissioned a new pretender. And we've also had commissions paid for by Paladin and Tages for some of the new swords. Um, you can see Daniel53 has updated the French, uh, the French translation, so a big thanks to him for that. And um, if I can find it, Kokoman has updated the Spanish translation too. So if you do have translations that you've updated for this mod, then please let me know so I can get them in these updates. You can see there's been quite a lot of fixes for this update too, so some long-standing fixes which include stuff like the... Uh, double king's guard that's standing in the red keep or lords and ladies not attending the red keep for feasts okay so competition time so just to be clear uh, this has been completely sponsored and paid for by fallen lord even the features required in the modification have been paid for and commissioned by fallen lord so 
No money has been taken from donations made towards a war device and fire whatsoever. There will be a time limit to this competition and the competition will start tomorrow when the mod is released which should be in the afternoon sometime and it will finish on the 18th of February so all submissions have to be in before the 18th of February. You can either DM Fallen Lord on my database and I'll post a link below to his profile so you can do that or you can D DM him on our Discord. So I'll also post a link to our Discord below. There is a special uh, competitions channel where you can easily get hold of Fallen Lord through there. The first prize for each competition is a $300 cash prize and a $300 commission, uh, which has to be towards the Bannerlord version of A World of Ice and Fire. So obviously, uh, whatever you want to commission has to be up to the value of $300 so we'll have to uh, arrange that with whoever makes that item. Each runner-up will receive a copy of Bannerlord. So Fallen Lord will be the juror for this and he will decide who wins and who doesn't win. Uh, although he has stated that the first person to complete each challenge will be the winner. Uh, so the first competition is to obtain the Dagger Silence, so that's all the information you have. As soon as you have recorded yourself obtaining the Dagger Silence, you can submit your video to Fallen Lord and you will stand a chance of winning. And for the second competition, you have to obtain the Valerian Steel Glaive called Retribution. So again, that is all the information you have. So you've got to go out there, play the game, try and find these items and show your recording of you actually obtaining the items. Here you can see the competition page on our Discord. So you can DM Fallen Lord by right clicking his name and clicking message. There are a few rules required for this competition. Uh, so the video should show the entire length of the collection of the associated Easter eggs or items. The video needs to be raw and unedited footage. If there's signs of editing, the video is disqualified. All submitted videos must contain the screen of the settings used. So the settings need to be set on full realism, meaning you can't frig it by, you know, turning your settings down to the lowest possible. Uh, no cheating, obviously. If there's ed evidence of any kind of cheating, then you are automatically disqualified. Uh, no editing the stats or attributes of your character, which again is considered cheating, so you'll be disqualified. Again, you cannot import your character, which would, you know, be the same as editing your stats and attributes. Uh, please keep your videos um, virus free and clean. Uh, anyone that's uh, sending Fallen Lord anything other than the video you should be will be banned from the Discord. So I think that is it. And I think that's all for this video. I'll end the video with some pictures of some of the new items that's been added. So hang around and uh, look at them and hope you enjoy the update tomorrow and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.